What's up guys, iOS 26 is one big update. Everyone is talking about the features, but in this video, I'm gonna share features that no one is talking about. So this video is all about iOS 26, 26 hidden features. Let's go, let's begin. And like when we take screenshot, this is how it looks like. And this looks really bad. I mean like it's a full screen, I don't like it. I, long, I like the way we used to take screenshots back in days something like this and I want to make it same so I can actually do that so for that what I need to do is I need to go to simply into the settings once I'm into the settings get into the journal into the journal I need to get into the screen capture and over here there's an option full screen view just turn this off now when I turn this off and go back and take a screenshot this is how it looks like this is amazing also when you are in the screenshot settings now you can change the format for the screen recording. Usually it records in SDR that is most compatible. But you can also change it to the HDR if you want to. That is completely your choice. So you can select from here another really really useful feature for the people who want to record um, screen videos in HDR. Also when you go back and you get, get back into the accessibility over here. Now there is a new way to use your iPhone and that is head tracking. There are different gestures available like raising eyebrows. You can select any action for raising eyebrow. You can smile to do some action. There are different options available for the actions. And now by just the movement of your head and you know moving your uh, features of your face, you can control your iPhone completely. Amazing feature for the people who want to use it. Also moving to the next one when you are into sound and haptics now you have the option of microphone over here. So you can go over here and select like you can see how many microphones are attached to your device. Maybe another one is attached using you know Bluetooth or something like that. And you can select the default one whatever you want to use. Go back from here now you have the option to show silent icon in the status bar. This is also there. And if you want to do this, you can do it. When you go down from here, now there is a late night mode option over here. I haven't tested it out that what it is all about. But, you know, it is great to have uh, one more feature. Now, when you go to the phone over here, it is pretty much changed. As you can see, there is a new design. And if you don't like this design, what you can do is you can tap on these lines over here. And from here, you can select the classic one. And now it is back to the old design. As you can see, it's again your choice. Also, when you do this over here, there is a call filtering option available. And, you know, you can avoid spam calls and that stuff with using call filtering option. Again, very useful. Also, when you want to, if you are in the new mode, for example, you like this one. If you want to make a call, you tap on this, you will not able to make a call. You need to tap on this call button that could be annoying for some people but if you want to you know use it by tapping to call you can also do that for that what you need to do is simply get into the settings go to your phone settings by all the way going to the apps then find your phone from here i'm going into the section of phone and i'm taking too much time over here and when I go over here, now tap recent to call. I can turn this on from here as you can see. And when I go back, now when I tap on this, I will able to make a call. Again, quite useful. Also, when you are in the messages over here, in your messages, now when you tap on the username over here, now you have a new background option available. You can select different options from the background. You can also select photos from you. And you can also let playground generate a background for you. Another really, really cool feature. Um, a one feature that no one maybe talk about that. Usually when you are in settings of this iPhone, you usually do swipe like this. If you do this over here, nothing will work. So you could you have to do something like this. You know, this is how the iPhone used to be, but now it is changed. You can swipe anywhere on the screen. To go back something like this as you can see it can be you know a useful feature for many people and there's no way to go even more back so yeah this is another change also when you are into the automatic settings go to power mode now there is new adaptive power mode you know that um 
you know manages your battery according to your requirement and set the performance according to that so if you want to try this out you can try this out also now when you put your phone on charging it will show that how much time it is going to take so if i grab my power bank give me a second over here i am grabbing my power bank sorry for it this is my power bank let me put this device on charging i don't know if this um case will allow me to charge okay now it is charging and it will take a small time and then it will calculate as you can see if i show you it is showing me how much time it is going to take to charge until 80 percent and then to the 85 percent another useful change this is one of the change that people were waiting for a very long time it was supposed to come with the ios 18 but now it is over here with the ios 26 great change now when i go back from here and get into the camera over here now there is a new setting known as indicators so when you are recording something you can just view the indicator that in what format you are recording or you can you know turn on the action mode indicator so when it is on it will let you know that action mode is on quite useful also when you go back when you go all the way down now there is a new option over here lens cleaning hint so when your camera lens is not cleaned properly it will give you like clean your camera lens to take good pictures another one now we all know that there is a new um i can clear i can how they are look like like this one but maybe some people don't know that they are also available in the dark clear mode and this one also looks really really good so another cool feature but are you a fan of this um they look good but yeah i'm gonna stick to the dark ones dark ones i really like this one they look really really good really neat also when you tap and hold and get into the edit over here now you can edit your wallpaper background right from here you don't need to go to lock screen always you can do this right from here another cool feature also when you are in the playground app over here and tap on the new option over here now there is a chat gpt and genmoji integrated into your playground app and for some reason my device just respins my device just respins in front of you this is called ios 26 beta 1 it's not because it's ios 26 it's because it's the first developer beta so yeah things can happen okay coming back to the video now you can create genmoji right from here and you can use chat gpt for creating images right from here again quite useful also when you take screenshot something like this tap on this now you can do something like this to get to know what we is on the screen visual intelligence will work for it i think it is going to be available for the iphone 16 models and the iphone 15 pro and pro max another cool feature now many people are talking about that there is a new game app but no one is talking about that there is a new preview app a preview app is all about your documents whatever your documents you have saved on your device again it is taking a long time now straight from this device you can go and scan the documents not only that you can sign up new documents you can create a new empty image and you can create your site and you can export that as png again useful feature now when you are into your settings we all know with the ios 18 there was music haptics that was launched now music haptics is taken to the next level with more settings. so get into the accessibility now go over here into music ha haptics when you turn this on now there are more settings available you can go for the vocals only full mix intensity you can set up the intensity or vibration and do this sort of stuff again quite useful also when you are on your lock screen tap and hold now from your lock screen what you can do is if you want to find the wallpaper that you have set the wallpaper you know ages ago and you don't know where it is in your photos app just tap on this and show in the photo library and it will take you directly to that wallpaper quite useful also now you don't have to you know open your all the wallpaper setting you can just tap on this and select a new wallpaper right from here quite useful again also when you are into your settings let me get to settings get to the journal and get to the fonts now there is more font option available where there are different fonts option available you can install before this you have to go to the app store and download them 
but now they are already integrated over here and if you want to try them you can try them so these are all 26 features that no one might be talking about they are amazing they are like if you like any of these features just let me know in the comment section below make sure to subscribe the channel and yeah that's all from this video and i hope to catch you guys in the very next one until then take care peace out